I cried and cried. For a while as I cried, I hated my parents, as if it were their fault that Lynn was sick. Then I cried because I loved my parents so much. Then I didn't feel like crying anymore. I just felt barren. My eyes felt dry. The sky was still gray. Everything was gray, the sky, the store, and even my hand when I held it out in front of myself. I wondered if anyone else in history had ever been as sad as I was at that moment. As soon as I wondered that, I knew the answer was yes. The answer was that millions of people had been that sad. For instance, what about the people of the great Incan city of Cusco, which was ransacked by foreigners in the 16th century? I wrote a paper about that for school. And then there were all the millions of people in all the many wars throughout history and throughout the world, and all the millions of people which loved ones killed by millions of other people. A lot of people had been sad as I was. Maybe a billion of them had been this sad. As soon as I realized this, I felt like I was no longer a little girl, but had become a big girl. What being a big girl meant exactly, I wasn't sure. I watched a swatch of the sky turn red. The red spread like blood in the sea. Red, 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 and then less and less red, until there was only blue left. I squinted as the sun rose. I must have fallen asleep because when I woke up, my father was carrying me into the house. Sam walked beside us carrying the lawn chair, which seemed as almost as big as he was. Inside the living room, my father laid me on my cot. She's gone, he said.